Welcome survivors! New Zomboid dev blog is out, so queue up your 60 second timer as we go through one minute of highlights. We're talking about build 41.72 and new build 42 info today, but first, shout out to you. I've come back from some time away from the channel and we have more than double the subscribers that we had when I left. And I've come back to like 50 positive and constructive comments too, so like, thank you! It's a unique and special feeling to find the nice people on the internet, so again, thanks for your support, now let's get into it. Alright, first up, build 41.72 is still delayed, but they're keeping it in for the right reasons. I mean, look at this. This was captured on my server just last week. I'm the driver, and I tell you, I could have all the beer in Muldrow, and I still wouldn't be driving like that. These physics edge cases are what the team is trying to tackle with this new release, so hey, team, keep at it. They're also teasing new map polish for the build, like you'll see here, and super teaser now, they've said once this map pushes out, the map team will then be working on extending out the new map areas, made possible by an engine overhaul from a while back. So. Someday soon, we might be able to see beyond the Great Wall of Black that we have now. Let's talk build 42 now. First about crafting, items are going to get RPG style changes to properties, such as things like range and damage of a weapon being influenced by the person who made it. Finally, new animal info. First, unlike many mods that exist now, animals will not be objects. They will wander, they will eat, they will starve and die if you don't leave them food when you go out. Also, they won't randomly spawn in. You will find deer along established trails, for example, which you can search out with foraging by following animal droppings. And that's it! Like if you liked it. I'm going to make a slow return to the channel here, so if you're looking for walkthroughs, deep dives, and general zomboid chatter, drop a subscribe as well. And again, thank you survivors, I hope to see you in the next video.